consigo oh, 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 oh. Skanungoaga Skanungoaga Now we are here Gai now we are here Sego oh, 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 oh. Skanungoaga Skanungoaga Now we are here Gai now we are here Honey down to my uh, my big drum and do probably the oldest drum song or one of the oldest drum songs that I've done. It's The River of Life. And this one was on the Rise Up Mighty Warrior album first. But no, I just want to bring some familiarity to what we're doing in the sound. So this is The River of Life.
I was studying about our First Nations people because this has been a this has been a journey for me because I've had to learn about the different struggles and the hardships of our people and and um, I mean it was a lot of crying a lot of crying went on during all this stuff as I realized the suffering and pain that our Indigenous people suffered as we were forced to give up our 
heritage. We're forced to give up our identity and embrace another another heritage and another culture. We had to do our cultural conversions and, and all, but I wrote this song. I call it Tears. So this new next album is called The Father's Dance. It came out in 2008. And this album was a cry for fatherhood. You know that you know we've we've cried out for the children and you know we've cried out for moms and oftentimes dads have been you know just considered the bad guys in so many cases and you know and in a lot of cases they were uh because they got caught up in drugs and drinking and all the different things, you know. But I really wanted to do a song for the fathers, a song, you know, based on the teachings that I got from my mom, Norma Blacksmith. She told us that each step is a prayer for the healing of the land and the healing of the people. And so um, I wrote this song with that in mind, that my heart was to see our fathers come back to their place of honor, respect, and take their place as husbands and fathers and, and 
rebuild the dignity that needs to be there and, and that our moms and our children would be willing to give them a chance to take that beautiful place of fatherhood and, and to walk it out in a good way. And so this song is called The Father's Dance and it's from the album The Father's Dance which came out in 2008.
Back in 1603, this this priest who was uh, who had came to Canada, and uh, he was really moved, I guess, by the by the uh, Huron Nation and the and the indigenous people, and he uh, wrote this beautiful song called the Huron Carol. And so I've chosen to to do that one for you guys. Um, least a segment of it it's a long song i'm just going to do a portion of it but just so you can feel a little bit of christmas on turtle island now on this album i recorded this with a uh, a musician uh from juilliard he came to my studio and and he played the piano and we did the album and i won album of the year in canada and flautist of the year in canada with this uh this album and it really uh really was a great feeling for me to win that. It was so awesome.
this next song I'm going to do for you is a song called Neya Goyanere. And it's, uh, it's just an old uh, Mohawk song that was written that was not, was not a, uh, a hymn or a, a song from, from the English language. It was a song that was purely written um, in Mohawk and for Mohawk people. And it was all about, you know, going, going to be with the Creator, um, spending your time with him in eternity and you know just a really beautiful song of of uh of our people and and it really inspired me to realize that our people had those kind of songs um, um and they weren't just translated from uh white hymnals and so this song is called Nea Goyanere Nea Goyanere Nea Goyanere Yaga dona ere te yagori wago Songwandoro Jesus Songwandoro Jesus De huri hungo donji de huaya song Nechiaga neraguaro yoda do gondi Yero yagero no oni yago daskas Songwandoro Jesus, Songwandoro Jesus, De huri hungo donji de huaya son, De huri hungo donji de huaya son. So this one comes from the album we released called Drum, Created for Worship in 2004. And this is a song that's based on my Mohawk heritage. It's called Sayonair. And um, Jesus died that I might live is the uh, English interpretation of the meaning of this song. You
when we look around the world, it's so easy for us to look at people and think, you know, our flesh wants to judge. But when we walk by the Spirit, the Spirit realizes that everyone out there is our brother and our sister. Everyone out there are God's children, whether they know Jesus or not. And we're here to be able to live the kind of life that draws them to that place of knowing that they're a son or a daughter of our Creator. Go. 